Good morning. This is Morning Prayer for Sunday, February the 6th, 2011. It's year one, week five of Epiphany, and week five of the Psalm Cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 96. Isaiah chapter 57, verse 14 to 21. And the Song of Zechariah, Luke 1, verse 68 to 79. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise. Alleluia. Alleluia, we sing to you a new song. Alleluia. Psalm 96. We sing to you a new song. All the earth sings to you. We sing to you and bless your name. You show your salvation day to day. We declare your glory among the heathen, your wonders among all people. For you are great and greatly to be praised. You are to be feared above all gods. For the gods of the nations are but idols, for you made the heavens. Honor and majesty are before you. Strength and beauty are in your sanctuary. We give you glory and strength. We give to you the glory due your name. We bring offerings and come into your courts. We worship you in the beauty of your holiness. All the earth trembles before you. We say among the heathens that you reign. The world you establish shall not be moved. You shall judge the peoples righteously. Let the heavens rejoice and the earth be glad. Let the sea roar and all within thunder praise. Let the fields be joyful and all therein shout for joy. Then shall all the trees of the wood rejoice before you. For you come, for you come to judge the earth. You shall judge the world with righteousness and the people with truth. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. We sing to you a new song. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah chapter 57, beginning at verse 14. It is destined to be said, Rebuild, rebuild, open the road, remove the wreckage blocking the way of my people. For thus says the High and Exalted One, whose home is eternal, whose name is holy. I dwell in a high and holy place with those who are humbled and broken in spirit. So I can revive the spirit of you who are dejected, revive the heart of you who are contrite. I will not accuse you forever, nor will I always be angry, for then your spirit would grow faint before me and your breath which I created. I was enraged by your sinful greed. I punished you and withdrew my favor. But you maintained your willful ways. I know your ways, and I will heal you. I will lead you and comfort you, you and those among you who mourn, bringing praise to your lips. I will bring peace, peace to those far and near, says Yahweh, and I will heal them. But those who do evil are like the churning sea that cannot quiet itself. The waters toss up silt and sand. There is no peace, says Yahweh, for the corrupt. Here ends the lesson. And now let us offer our prayers and petitions for the Holy Church of God, that it may be filled with truth and love and found without fault on the day of your coming. <clears throat> for our clergy and for all of our church leaders, especially for Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all the holy people of God, for all who fear God and believe in you, Lord Christ, that our divisions may cease and all may be one as you and the Father are one. For peace in Jerusalem and in the whole world, that a spirit of respect and forbearance may grow among nations and peoples. For blessing upon human labor, for the right use of the riches of creation, that the world may be freed from poverty and famine and disaster. For the poor, the persecuted, the sick, 
especially for Steve and Michael, for all who suffer, for refugees and prisoners, and all who are in danger, that they may be relieved and protected, for the unemployed, especially for Brian and Robert, for the grief-stricken, especially Joe and Dan, for this congregation, for those who are present and those who are absent, that we may be delivered from hardness of heart and show forth your glory in all we do. For our enemies, for those who wish to harm us, and for all whom we have injured or offended. We pray for the dead, especially Lloyd and Louise, and Sarah and Howard, William and Lloyd, and Howard and Stephen, and Margaret and Dwight, and Dan and Joanne and Hugh, and Charles and Tom, and Wayne and Martin, and Kevin and Philip, and David and Ramon Ivan, and Joseph Benedict and Miriam Suzanne, Walter Arthur, Robert Patrick, Stephen Edward, and David. And for all who died in the communion of your church, and those whose faith is known to you alone, that with Francis and Claire and all the saints, they may have rest in that place where there is no pain or grief, but light eternal. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush towards Christ. For uh, that God who begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment for the intentions of all who've asked our prayers, and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia, you have raised up for us a mighty Savior. Alleluia, the song of Zechariah. Blessed are you, O God of Israel. You have come to your people and set us free. You've raised for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of your servant David. Through your holy prophets you promised of old that you would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. You promised to show mercy to our ancestors, and to remember your holy covenant. This was the oath you swore to Abraham and Sarah, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship you without fear, holy and righteous in your sight all the days of our lives. And you, my child, shall be called prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Most High to prepare his way, to give the people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins, in the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness in the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. You have raised for us a mighty Savior. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh, my soul, and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we could ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. <laughs> 